The Bible has contradictions in it. Yeah, I've heard that before. I'm not saying there's difficult things in the Bible which are hard to explain at times, but when it comes to contradictions and someone says it to me, I would go back, ask them, what do you mean by contradiction? One, what's your definition of it? And two, can you show me where it is? Because in the laws of logic, and there are a few of those, one of them is the law of non-contradiction, such as you can't have a square circle, all right? You can't have a crooked straight line, or it's either a cat or a non-cat, can't be both. So I think what most people think of, it's variations within the story. I think when you're talking about eyewitnesses, <clears throat> or when someone tells a story, that they should tell it verbatim each time. I think some of us, and I've thought this before, you think there's some sort of stenographer following the apostles around, typing on a little stenographer machine, all right? Like a court case. That's not the way ancient history or ancient literature was written, never. So they dealt with a few things. One, they dealt with paraphrasing. They dealt with abbreviations and omitted things in certain stories and imperfections of certain stories, meaning was it written perfect? This is exactly what was going on? Maybe not, but it doesn't mean it was an error. It means that happened. They may have just left something out. That's all it means. Think about this, the Titanic, when it sank, there were eyewitness individuals that said the Titanic sank as a whole ship, and then there were witnesses that said that Titanic split in half <clears throat> and then sank. Well, it wasn't until years after they realized, oh, it did split in half. Does that mean the other people were lying? No, it just means when they saw it at that context of the time, they did it. But guess what we all know? Ah, oh, the Titanic sank. So that wasn't a lie. We know that actual event happened and many other things happened except that detail. So the thing is, when you think about the Bible and think about other contradictions, there are variations. And that's a big thing. There's always going to be variations in every story. That's no different. But we got to think of that was the message preserved for us. So I hope that makes sense.